how does freshers work? What happens with halls? Does it matter if I'm not in professional sports? Am I happy in Loughborough? What's the best accommodation? How is it being international? Is it diverse? The best and worst bits of Loughborough. Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a Q&A about uh, Loughborough University because I know a lot of you guys uh, come to my channel because you have questions about Loughborough or are planning to go to Loughborough or maybe you're already in Loughborough but um, it's mostly for the freshers coming in um, that had a few questions I felt like I could answer those and just like be helpful, make my channel useful. Um, and all these questions are anonymous so I will not be linking any specific accounts or anything like that. But um, yeah, let's start. One of the first questions was, how does freshers work? What happens with halls? So basically the way freshers works is that you you pay your haul a certain amount. I think for us it was like 120 pounds. And they basically organize every single day and night for you to do something and you can choose to participate or not. And um, that usually goes on for two weeks, at least for us, for our hall it was two weeks. Other halls are either shorter or longer, it depends on how they organized it. But um, basically they'll have like a daytime activity for you and usually you have a specific club you can go to or they just take you to Students Union and all of that aspect is free. Um, and you usually tend to have as well a lot of um, pre's. <laughs> the the basically the, the your hall will organize as well pre's for you. They'll organize daytime activities, and I didn't partake that much in the daytime activities just because um, by going out pretty much every night you tend to tire a little bit more frequently. But there are activities for you guys out there. So all in all, it's um, an experience that is pretty fun I would say and it's pretty organized so um, your hall definitely your hall definitely directs you on how the whole process works and you definitely get like a, a flyer explaining all the activities available so again it's different for each hall so I can't particularly say what to expect but usually halls will you know have a specific um, deal with certain clubs or the students union so that not every hall ends up going to the same places and it's not overpacked but um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I would recommend doing as many activities as possible because that definitely means that you can get to know as many people as possible within your hall and uh, those are the people that you're going to be in proxim proximity with for the entire year. But yeah, that's pretty much how Freshers work uh, works. And then, does it matter if I'm not in professional sports? So as uh, most of you coming into Lafra know, it's uh, very much a sporty university and as much as you have like a lot of opportunities to join a sport, um, there's two kinds of sport. There's something called IMS and then there's AU. So AU is mostly professional sports that you pay for basically at the beginning of the year to be able to do sports in basically with a team. Uh, there's also something called development, which is for people who are getting trained in order to, I don't know, the basics, so to say. They, you get trained to know the basics. But then IMS is inter-hall sports competitions, so you can basically get last-minute team members in order to play against other halls for a variety of sports. And um, whether you play professional sports or not, it does not matter because IMS is definitely a lot more laid back, for instance, even if... Um, you apply to AU and you're not looking to be, for instance, in the first team, which is the best team out there, um, that's completely fine. I basically applied for volleyball having maybe like two years experience and again, I wasn't even amazing at it or anything like that and I still got into do development and I played once a week and that was more than fun. So you don't have to be a professional in order to do the sports, but again, it really depends on the sports that you're doing because I know for Hockey, for instance, they have a lot of different teams available just because there are that many people asking to be part of it. So depending on the competition, either it's relatively easy to get in uh, to a sports or it might not be. But even if you don't end up getting into a sports, there, um, there are still other options like I think it's called My Lifestyle where basically they have activities organized every week and you just have to sign up and it's completely free. So there are definitely a lot of opportunities for you even if you're not in professional sport. There's also the gym. So um, you don't have to be a professional athlete in order to do sports and you don't have to do sports at all as well. 
um, nobody judges you for that either. Is campus life really worth it? Personally, I definitely like being on campus just because it's a lot easier to get to know people. It's a lot safer in my opinion as well. Like I've never really felt unsafe in Loughborough. So personally, I think I prefer that. Uh, originally, I was actually planning on going to UCL. So that was definitely not a campus style university and um, I thought that I would love being in the city and all that and I probably would have loved that too but I think uh, being on campus definitely has an air of you know being safe for one um, it's definitely a lot of fun we have one of the best students union so that's a lot of fun as well so I think um, I personally really like campus life I think that it's a lot easier to get to know people make friends and all that which is something that sometimes you like city universities can lack so I think it's worth it, but I think it's really up to personal choice. How is Lufra as a small town? I would say uh, the town of Lufra is actually pretty sweet and cute. For, and originally when I came in, I was like, oh wow, it's really small, but it's, it's really nice. There are definitely... <laughs> there are definitely opportunities for people to buy you know clothes and other things like that but also there are quite a few restaurants there and just overall i like the vibe of loughborough town it's really cute um a lot of university students are there but also a lot of the local people are there and um i i think it's charming it kind of reminds me of just any sort of european small town um so i i definitely like it it, it grows on you for sure because when you first get there sometimes you might think oh well maybe it's a little bit bare a little bit small but it's it is cute what do you need to bring to Lefra or to university in general? I would say don't bring too many clothes because I think as much as you think, oh, I'll get so much use and wear out of them, at the end of the day, you kind of just tend to gravitate towards more comfortable clothes. So I wouldn't go crazy with getting all sorts of outfits. Um, it's definitely not People don't really go through the effort uh, all the time of wearing like high-end clothes or being all dressed up for lectures uh, just because everything is on campus and everything is like a 10 minute walk away so people usually just go in whatever is comfortable and that's more than fine. So I don't think you would need to bring that many clothes but I would definitely suggest maybe like bringing items from home for definitely like makes you feel less lonely like maybe small like clutter things that you know will make the space feel more personal so those items I feel like you would definitely need to bring obviously there's the entire list of stuff that you need to bring just for like usefulness like shampoo conditioner uh, kitchen utensils all that but I think some of those things especially if you're an international student you can just buy um, directly on campus so things that you need to bring from home I would definitely suggest like personal items uh, pictures jewelry uh, shoes stuff that you feel like you're really gonna need um, I would definitely also bring one or two different types of formal wear just because there are events that are a bit more formal so not to forget those and yeah I think again if you ever need anything you can always go into town and buy something or just buy something online honestly so I would just bring what's necessary and what's uh, emotionally important to you just so that you don't feel as lonely inside your room it's very definitely it's definitely easy to um to feel as though the room's a little bit bare so I think adding those personal items definitely helps for sure how does the gym work how much is it so for the gym there are two gyms on campus and then there are a few gyms in town so the ones in town tend to be cheaper but they're in town so it's a it's a little bit of a walk away you can take the bus as well but I guess you have to pay for the bus so you have to take that into account if you are outside of campus so if you're for example in Harry French uh, going into town is not as much of a big deal but if you are on campus I would suggest taking at least for your first year because you're gonna be in halls uh, taking one of the the two gyms on campus. I think there's Hollywell and Power Base and Hollywell is like 200 pounds for the year. It's pretty expensive and I think whilst in, in like when I checked at least in town it's like 70 pounds for the year so I think it just really depends on whether how much you want to save what type of amenities you want because getting a gym membership also means that you're able to take classes for free so that's something to consider also if you tend to be lazy and you don't like to walk or go far away to do sports being on campus also helps. Hollywell is usually for pretty much everyone, whilst Power Base is a little bit more for athletes and professionals, at least that's kind of how it's been described. Obviously you can 
also not be an athlete or a professional and go to power base but I think it's slightly more expensive too but I'm not entirely sure just because I went to Hollywell personally. The proximity to London, how much it is to get to London, whether um, it's, a comp it's complicated or a hassle to get to London. Well, personally, I like also being able to get to London um, every few months just to get a feel of the city again. But I would say that it's not that long or expensive to get to London. It really just depends. If you take the train, it's an hour and a half, but it's a lot more expensive. I think it's like between 45 and 60 pounds, depending on whether you get like the student rail card. And if you take the bus, it's like around three hours, but it's a lot cheaper. It can be 10 pounds there and back sometimes. So it really just depends. I personally take the bus because I'm a cheap steak like that. But um, I think if you're really like in a hurry or something, the train is always available. I personally don't mind the bus. It's really not that bad. It goes by pretty quickly, especially if you like sleep or listen to music. So yeah, that's what I would say about getting to London. Am I happy at Loughra? Genuinely, I love Loughra. I feel like I've been able to make so many good friends. I'm really happy with the people I'm gonna be housing with next year. I'm happy with the friends I've made. I'm happy with the, like, the people I've gotten to know in general. Um, definitely happy with the classes as well. So I think overall, like I am pretty happy at Loughra. I'm glad that I went there. I do definitely do not regret um, not going to UCL just because of the opportunities I've been able to have being in Loughra. And I think everybody's uni experience is different for sure, but um, I'm definitely happy with mine and I'm happy about the way that it's gone about. So that's how I answered that question. What's the best accommodation? Um, should you go catered or non-catered? That really just depends on you because it depends on your financial requirements. It depends on whether you can cook for yourself, how far or close you want to be to classes, how much party life matters to you. There's just a lot of things that goes into account. I personally went to David Collett and um, that to me was a pretty relaxed hall. Like definitely there are a lot of par party people, but it's not like the most party-esque hall, which was fine for me overall. Like I found definitely the people that I wanted to go out and party with and I'm also pretty lazy sometimes. But I would say the natural vibe of a hall is just, it's different for, for every hall. So there are videos on YouTube showing the different halls and the people kind of representing their halls and talking about it. It depends as well if you want to have an ensuite. Obviously, if you don't have an ensuite, it's cheaper. I don't have an ensuite and I'm perfectly happy with that. It's not as bad as what people want to think. So I would suggest it really just depends on how much you want to spend because for my haul, I think I'm spending like five and a half thousand pounds and I know some people are spending seven and a half thousand pounds and their haul is where it's four and a half thousand pounds so it just really depends on how much you can spend how much you want to spend whether you want something a bit more expensive bougie all that stuff or something a bit more laid back and fun and party-esque so it just it really depends I personally liked my haul just because I like the fact that my room is pretty big I felt and um had a nice really like a cute little view it was pretty close to the library and it wasn't that far to walk to classes either so personally i liked my haul then definitely i felt like the overall spirit of lofra was maybe not what i expected at first but um i don't know i guess we're slightly less motivated than other halls to get stuff done maybe even apply in sports and stuff like that like in ims but i think it just really depends on your personal preferences. I was pretty happy being in Loughborough. I got to know a lot of amazing people in, in uh, Loughborough and David Collett. So I think it just really depends on you and no matter which hall you end up going to, you will have a great time. And if you aren't, you can always move to a different hall. So that's definitely an opportunity you can have, I think in the first three months of uni or even afterwards. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I think you probably won't regret the hall that you're in because there's definitely a lot of Loughborough spirit within each hall. Grocery shopping tips. I would say if you have like a big grocery shop to do, just kind of do it online. As long as you pay over, I think like 40 pounds, you can get like a pretty cheap delivery fee. So I would suggest doing that. Again, it kind of also depends on how much space you have. In our kitchen, we barely had any space for our fridge. So even though I still did that, I tried to get less things that would end up stocking up the fridge. So it just really depends on, on you. But that was my personal tip because going into town, getting all the grocery bags and it's super heavy coming back, you have to pay for the bus and, and walk as well. But you know, I, when you have a lot of groceries, you tend to take the bus back. So I think it's just cheaper to 
order and out of all the different brands um, I think Little is the cheapest but then you also have like Sainsbury's and Tesco. Tesco tends to be cheaper than Sainsbury's from what I've heard but yeah those are just the stuff that I've heard and what I've been doing pretty much. How is it being international? Is it diverse? Obviously, when I came in, I was an international student. Uh, in my hall in particular, there weren't that many international students, but it really just depends because in uh, Rutherford, where the girls that I'm going to be housing with were, basically, that was their hall, they're all international and they were all put in the same like hall, so I think it like depends. Personally, I think that there is some diversity. There isn't like a crazy amount of diversity, but there's definitely like, if you look for people that are that are diverse or foreign or just not from the UK, you will definitely find some. There are a lot of like societies that will either be, I don't know, like Latino societies, I think, um, or Spanish societies. Then there's uh, French societies, German societies, like all types of societies, which means that you can have better access to meeting people that are international, there are also international parties, international events, so I think there are definitely opportunities to meet people. And I guess if you have any trouble, you can always just <laughs> DM me, ask me about you know where, where you can find more international events and stuff like that, and I'm more than happy to help with that. Then the best and worst bits of Loughborough. That's a loaded question. I would say best bits, I would say definitely being able to meet people, being able to get close to people. I think being, again, on, in a campus university, you tend to you tend to see the same people, which means that you can make more connections. And that in itself, I think, is one of the best parts of Loughborough. The sport spirit as well is pretty good, I would say, just because it means that there's like a healthy amount of competition. And it's just like another way to bring people together. There are also a lot of societies. I think that's another great thing. I would say as well that the teachers are pretty supportive in general. So that's another thing that I was pretty thankful again for Loughborough. Like they, you have like tutors and stuff like that, which support you as well. And I think overall, I've been very interested in the material that I've been learning. So all of those contribute to the best parts of Loughborough. Obviously, nights out are also amazing. And I think it just depends. It depends on each person what they prefer, but I've definitely been thankful for a lot of things, including my friends, nights out. They, those have been a load of fun. And you know, even the gym, I feel like that's been very useful. So again, it just really depends on you. But worst bits, I would say, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. I, I, I think, maybe, I don't know. I think there aren't that many bad aspects of Loughborough and I think, that even trying to reflect on it now, there isn't something that would be like, oh, well, you know, that's the university's fault. I guess at the beginning, you can tend to feel a little bit lonely just because the first few months you aren't getting, you, you don't know anybody on a super personal level yet. You're still trying to navigate the different people and, and getting friends and stuff like that. So I think maybe that would be one of the worst bits, but I think that's something that every single person goes through in the first few months of uni. So I don't know if it's something specific to Loughborough, but yeah, I don't know. I just think that in general, I'm pretty happy with my experience. I can't really think of things to criticize it. Is career and placement support good? I would say it is because it's very easy in order to get placement if you don't already have one. I'm gonna go through the process next year of applying for a placement. The university definitely provides some, but I think I'm probably gonna look for my, like I'm gonna probably use both aspects, but I think Overall, it's pretty good. I would also say that the career support is great just because, you know, help with the CV and stuff like that. I've gotten excellent tips and stuff like that, and I feel overall it's pretty, it's pretty good. So I wouldn't criticize it in any way. But yeah, I think it just kind of depends on what type of placement you want to get and stuff like that, but they tend to be super helpful about these things. Thank you guys for watching. It was fun answering all these questions, and I hope that it was very informative and that it'll help you with your first year experience in Loughborough. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and leave a comment if you have any other questions or if you want to say something positive. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.